Hello, Dr. Pacho here. Today's video is about the microscopic features of squamous cell carcinoma. Squamous cells epithelium can be found lining the skin, neural mucosa, and few other organs. The picture shows a squamous epithelial lining of the skin. It has multiple layers of cells, with the uppermost layer show keratinization. Is the most pinkish layer on the top. Squamous cell carcinoma can occur in many sites. It can occur in the skin, uterine cervix, lung, pharynx, or mucosa, and penis. Let us view the microscopic features of the squamous cell carcinoma. This is squamous cell carcinoma of the skin. You can see the, the layer of the, on the left is the overlying skin and the lesion is within the dermal layer. When we look under the medium magnification, we can see that the malignant cells are arranged in clusters and sheets. For the detailed characteristics of this tumor, we use high magnification. This common cells carcinoma has moderate nuclear pleomorphism. The nuclear pleomorphism is assessed by comparing the differences between the sizes of the nucleus. In this picture, you can see that there are sheets of squamous cell carcinoma. In between the cells are the stroma, which appear to be desmoplastic. The stroma is the area that surrounds the squamous cell carcinoma and it is made up of fibroblasts. I've had highlighted the area of the malignant cells and the stroma for easier understanding. To say that this is a squamous cell carcinoma, the most important criteria is the production of the keratin. All these squamous cells produce keratin. Here we can see that there are few cells producing keratin. The keratin that is produced by the malignant cells is the same with the keratin that is seen at the overlying skin. This malignant tumor also shows multiple mitosis. Most of the typical mitosis that are seen in this malignant tumor are all in metaphase. Some of the mitosis are typical, but there is also one atypical mitosis seen. Here are the mitosis which are separate for easy viewing. The group on the left is the typical mitosis and the one on the right is one atypical mitosis. For revision, mitosis has four phase, which is the prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. That is how squamous cell carcinoma look like under the microscope. Remember, the most important feature to make diagnosis of squamous cell carcinoma is the presence of keratinization. I hope you enjoyed this video. Follow me on this social media. Goodbye.